Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, so this is going to be my first design video um, that I posted on here, but pretty much um, I'm going to walk you through my design process and um, what I do to make my posters and other graphic design art. Um, I am by no means a professional, so please just take that with a grain of salt and watch this um, with that in mind. So usually what I do is I go through my Behance and I just kind of look at um, what people are posting and then usually I have things on Instagram that I like that I see and save. So that's pretty good too. So I'm gonna go on that. And I usually save the posts I like. So here's some, yeah, random inspiration I like. But the general idea, I know what I want. So I'm just kind of looking for the art style. And I really like this one in particular. Um, I just want to add a quick note here. Since I'm still trying to find my unique style as a designer, um, I've been kind of replicating some cool design techniques that I've seen from other designers and um, you know generally other work that I see and I like. That being said, I think the concept of your design should be as original as possible, um, but you can and you should pull from work that you think is exceptional and quote unquote better than yours. Um, because that's the only way that you can really improve as, as a designer. Um, and then once you know how to design like the pros, you can start figuring out your own style. Um, and it never hurts to, you know, credit the designers you get your inspiration from. So I just wanted to add that for this poster, um, I was inspired by um, Prague designer Jan Horchik. And I will link his work down below so that you guys can check it out. But um, yeah, I want to give proper credit where it is due. Um, and I totally think it's okay to be inspired by other designers because it's very common um, in any artistic um, field to do so. So I just wanted to add that. Um, yeah. And I also just downloaded some new fonts, so we're gonna try that in a second. Okay. So on an Illustrator, I usually work with Illustrator and Photoshop, but on Illustrator, I will try the fonts. So I'll do probably make my artwork a little bigger. Shift O if you want to move that artboard. So I also write down all the fonts that I find so then I can credit people um, because these are free trial fonts so you're not buying them which means that you have to credit the foundries and then I'm also going to try fonts for my secondary type so this is going to be a copy that's smaller than my main type so okay I'm going to try Donza first challenge now is to figure out what kind of copy you want and how um, how much text there is because I think it only will look good if I have a lot of text so let's figure that out so quick voice over here um, what I'm doing right now is testing a bunch of different typefaces 
and this actually takes a, a lot longer than I'm showing it here for. I took it out because it's a little boring to watch, but I just want to let you know that it is a longer process um, even with this sped up. So um, for me at least, I spent a decent amount of time trying to find the right font. Um, and what's helpful and what's fun is just to like download new ones and try them out in, in your design and it kind of motivates you to design more um, just to experiment with different fonts. Okay, so now that we have the fonts, I'm going to start putting stuff on the um, poster artboard so you can see what that looks like. Hello, no one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Okay, I'm going to use Forma Dorma DJR instead of that because I don't like that one anymore. just do two versions. I might do a purple and a green one. So I think that's what we're gonna do. It's purple and a green. Okay, so now I'm going to try to flip this to vertical text because I want to see if it fits in this space right here. So we're going to command shift. Oh, actually, I can't do that because my... Anyways, you're going to create outline. Hold shift. Tilt like that. Now I'm gonna look for clip art stuff. This will be a better source for this. Okay, so what I'm doing here is gonna make it a smart object. So I can edit it. So now I'm going to um, merge the layers and make it so that I can change the color of the text. So we're going to do that. So now I'm going to think about if I want to add texture, I think I'm going to do a 
Gaussian blur, so let's see. Okay, so one challenge of designing posters is to figure out like when you're done with it. So I think I'm done with this. Um, so I'm gonna export it. So you've reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this process usually takes me anywhere from an hour to three hours to four hours. So it just depends on how much you let yourself go on for. And I try not to do too long um, because at some point you need to stop designing and know when it's finished. The goal of making these videos is to kind of just force myself to design and um, keep myself on track to being a consistent designer and creator. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me by watching this video. Um, thank you for probably being one of 50 people who will see this or less. I will see y'all in the next video.